It's almost dinner time, and I've got to make something that's simple but nutritious for my family. So I grabbed the Breville recipe cards, and I found chicken pot pie. I'm going to do a little change up, and I'm going to do turkey. Now I've got to get these turkey breasts in the oven, seasoned, and roasting. And then it's time to get all of the prep done. So I grabbed the Breville Sous Chef 16 peel and dice, and that is going to help me get all of this tough work done. The best part is it's easy to clean up, but it'll get the job done fast. Let's get started. Now that the sous chef is fitted with the Dyson kit, I'm ready to get some of the work done. The carrot, celery, and onion are going to be made into a simple dice. But first, I have to get the pan rolling and get a little bit of butter melting and oil. I'm going to toss in mushrooms and garlic. What I'm really looking forward to is to show you how easily the sous chef will both peel and dice these beautiful potatoes. Look at these beautiful turkey breasts. They smell so good. Now look at this. You're not going to believe how easy the sous chef 
peels potatoes. Are you looking at this? Can you imagine if you had a couple 50 pound bags to do? They sure didn't have this when I was a kid. I love it. Now I'm gonna clean out the unit and then we're gonna do a dice of these as well. Going into the pan, sour cream, a little bit of flour. We're gonna finish putting the filling together and then top it with a beautiful puff pastry. You're gonna love this. With the filling bubbling away behind me here, the smell in the kitchen is just incredible. Now I'm slicing the turkey breast and when I do, I want to make sure to slice it against the grain. So the grain runs the length of the turkey breast or chicken breast. Make sure to slice it against the grain so that when you put it in the filling, you have nice bite-sized pieces. Well, everything is ready to go in the oven. I've got it preheated for 375 degrees convection bake, and I'm starting to ladle in this incredible filling. It is just creamy and rich. It'll take a couple ladles each. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can make individual portions or you can use a larger dish and do a family portion. Now, I'm gonna cut the puff pastry uh, maybe about two to three centimeters off of either side. I wanna make sure it falls over the edges. And then I'm gonna score it a little bit. I'm gonna put a little hole in the center to make sure the extra steam can escape. These can go in with a little bit of an egg wash. So take one egg, whip it up and brush it. Put them in for 18 to 20 minutes and they're gonna puff up. They're gonna be beautiful. Now here's a little tip. If you wanna make these ahead of time, get them all done, put the puff pastry on and then put them in the fridge. When your guests are coming over, maybe about 30 to 40 minutes before service, take them out 20 minutes, uh, make sure the oven's preheated and they'll have a piping hot version of your turkey pot pie. You're going to absolutely love this recipe. It tastes good, it feels good, and on a cold autumn night, it's the perfect dish for your family.